I'm Clark Brecky, President and CEO of Goodwill Industries of the Inland Northwest. In my 30 years with Goodwill, Wes Sawyer stands out. When I think of Wes, I think about a quote uh, from our founder, Edgar J. Helms, who said, the past is prologue, the future's in our hands. And Wes personifies that, and that's exactly what he did here at Goodwill Industries. He came, he was successful, the future is in his hands, he graduated from Goodwill onto a better life, a family, a home, and just remarkable success. On behalf of Goodwill Industries of the Inland Northwest, congratulations to Wes Sawyer, Graduate of the Year for Goodwill Industries International. My name is Wes Sawyer. I am currently working at Winkler Company. I'm also part of the local 238 labor union. I know my role, my role is to try to anticipate what people need as they're doing the job and uh, try to help things go smooth and be the cog in the machine. It's physically demanding, but the benefits from me working and, and doing that is, is huge. Growing up, was it was, it was, it was difficult my parents. Um, it's kind of dark, but they, they got in a shootout with each other, and then uh, uh, he ended up going to prison pretty much till today. My mom, she passed away a few months after that. She drank herself to death, you know, and uh, I mean, in high school, I was trying to play football and do those things, straight-A student and all that stuff, and then we ended up homeless on the streets. And I moved back down to San Diego and started running with the, uh, the gangsters. I am going to prison for some pretty serious stuff. When I got out of prison, I didn't know how to behave using drugs and alcohol. I was born with a congenital heart defect. Uh, 2000, I think 14 was my last uh, heart surgery. My cardiologist told me, she said, uh, she said, why don't you just uh, go to a hospice and just be comfortable for the rest of your life because it's not going to be very long if you keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, Okay, so that kind of terrified me. You know, that was one of the things that, that you know, there's all these little things that happened that all connected together to help get me sober and get me in this new life, you know, and that, that was one of them. I went through the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation, and that's where what led me to get Will. When I first saw Wes, he's all tatted up. He's got a very kind of square face. And then I saw him smile. It's like seeing the sun come out from a storm cloud. Not often do I see someone as motivated to succeed as Wes was when he came through. There's so many different avenues or things for me to do. There's sorting, there's donations, there's, you know, material handling, and uh, I got to experience a lot of it. It was surreal. I'd never use a time card. I had never, you know, had a morning meeting. So here you have this guy who's in his early 30s who really had no work experience to speak of and he didn't know what he could do and he wanted a future. I was able to start making those connections in my brain, you know, that I am a worthy person. I'm worth, I'm worth it, you know. Eventually became a cashier three and a supervisor, which is a key holder in our company. So he had very important responsibilities and we trusted him. I didn't think that I was worth that kind of responsibility until that responsibility was given to me, you know, and then you walk different, you carry yourself different. They, they helped me feel like a, like a human being. And then from there, it was just a real springboard. He went into the construction arena. He did that all, all on his own. Goodwill didn't help him go find that job. He took the initiative and he found it. I don't believe that I would have been functional enough to do concrete or, or any of the things that I'm doing now if I wasn't working at your will. I'm a second generation mess up, you know what I mean? It's a generational thing in my family, you know, and to, to break that cycle so quickly, you know, and show my kids a different way is just amazing. My son, he gets to learn how to be a man for me who didn't know how to be a man for my father, so I'm winging it. Seems like an odd analogy for for Wes, being the big guy that he is, but it's, like, it's been like watching a flower 
but, but open and just thrive. And it's not gonna close back up and shrivel up. He's just gonna keep, keep growing. I wasn't a happy person. I, I was, there, was, there was not a lot for me to smile about or be happy about. And um, through this process, through, through getting sober, you know, for six years now, for going through Goodwill, from learning how to work, having a family, I've learned how to smile again.